Well, greetings from sunny Puerto Rico. It's the weekend and this is your update. I'm at the National Association of School Music Dealers Conference and it's been a great week. Very informative, met lots of great people, super good time here uh, and a chance to travel and get to somewhere sunny in the winter. So uh, it's been a great trip and I'm very grateful for having had the opportunity. This week over on the Drums West uh, YouTube channel, Peter did a deeper dive into the salsa rhythm that he explored in a short last week. Uh, he gives you, you know, more of the how-to, the components of it, and how you can incorporate into this, your, this into your playing. So check out a clip from that video. Where do we use this? Uh, we use this in salsa music, when we're, or if we're in a, any kind of a setting, small ensemble setting, large ensemble, doesn't matter. Wherever we want this salsa feel to it. This is a surefire way to go if you want authentic uh, Latin, South American um, salsa feel, this is your go-to. And then one of the things that I discovered here at the conference was from Buffet Crampon, the Band Instrument Buyer's Guide. If you're just starting out, and I know that a lot of you are because we get lots of tryout nights that have already happened and that are coming up, this is a great place to go to look at what the instruments are all about, what you can expect from them, and what's out there for your students. So if you haven't seen that yet, check that one out. Then this week's View from the Road video, I was talking about team building and what predicts success for those teams. And it's not what you think it is. And this really came from a podcast that I just listened to talking about resilience. So check out a clip from that video. I mean, we practice, we try to make sounds, we don't succeed in them, we you know, have performances that, that don't go the way that we want them to. The key to it isn't necessarily the success of those activities, it's in the ability to keep on going. Um, I, I've heard it said, you know, if you're going through hell, keep on going. It's the same thing like that. It's that resilience that's going to make the team work better. So that's true for ensembles. That's true uh, later on when you're working on group projects in school or when you're collaborating with people on projects when you're working. It, the resilience is what predicts the success of the team. So yet another benefit for music, um, which is why we do what we do. So. And then finally this week, uh, the essay over on the Podcasting Store Medium page was really more of a boomer essay, but I shared it over there anyway. And it had the evocative tiled title of Don't Buy Local. And that was meant to attract attention. And I really do mean that. Don't buy something just because it's local. What I think we should be looking for is value. And that value is found by a company that's invested in you, in your student, in your program, in your teacher, in your school. And so I say don't buy local, but buy in invested and that is someone that supports you every week that is there when you need something that helps prevent problems before they start that come to conferences and expand their education so check out that essay if you haven't seen it yet I think there's a lot of good points in there and uh, we'll be giving out copies of this at the upcoming tryout night so don't worry we'll catch you on that one so that's your weekend update as always thank you so much for watching like share subscribe and we will catch up with you next time but not necessarily from Puerto Rico thank you if you enjoyed the weekend update, do me a favor and follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channels, or visit our websites. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company and thepodcastingstore.com. Thanks for listening.